Uh, our vice chancellor, uh, you know, after he has come back, very recently has given a statement saying that from now on students must focus on examinations, on uh, you know learning and nothing else. And there was a police officer uh, here, a senior police officer with whom we were discussing about why don't you really let uh, you know the students who are coming, the teachers who are coming uh, to express solidarity go inside. Because this is, after all, you know, it's a peaceful demonstration, it's a democratic demonstration, it's an expression of solidarity. And uh, then he said that I have also studied in universities, but I have never done things like this. Now this idea that, uh, you know, what is it that we are doing here? I mean, we are basically trying to do our role as uh, citizens. This is as much of learning as it is a fulfillment of an obligation. It's a constitutional obligation of every citizen to raise their voice when certain uh, you know equity and justice concerns exist and when certain uh, you know violation of rights has taken place now here in this institution when we produce uh, you know students we also produce people who raise voices we we, we have this uh, and we, we take great pride in it it's not as if uh, you know we what we what is being done here uh, is in some sense uh, in violation of the spirit of this institution let me bring to your notice that the motto of our institution is in fact education for liberation. That's supposed to be the motto of this institution. And we are only reiterating that motto in course of our practice. So what we are doing is specifically realizing the very motto for which this institution exists. And we have been uh, seeing time and again, uh, and this has been the history of our nation, that whenever there has been caste violence, caste atrocities, state has always behaved as an extended arm of those that are dominant lot. So the upper class, uh, you know, the upper class domination that happens in terms of the capture of institutions, in terms of misuse of authority, in terms of misuse of the state, is what needs to be challenged. And when state and the authority is captured, who else can raise voice other than the rest of the society? And this is what we are doing here. We are the community that is basically raising a voice in the spirit of constitutionalism, in the spirit of rights, in the spirit of equity and justice, to then say that, well, we will not keep quiet if you try to use force, if you try to frighten us, if you try to terrorize us, we will not keep quiet. And this is a responsibility that we have, not just for ourselves, but for the future generations. Because we should at least ensure that nobody else dies this way because of humiliation, because of suffocation, because of a sense of cynicism that creeps in when institutions do not respond, when institutions do not assure you that there will be some justice done. I think this is what we are striving to achieve here. No other student should even ever think in future that suicide is one mode through which you can actually register a protest. That happens only when you are extremely suffocated, when you feel helpless, when you feel isolated. I think that is something that we are fighting and that's the responsibility of every person in this community to ensure that every student has this confidence that we can achieve justice and justice can be achieved only through collective expressions, through organized expression and not really feel suffocated when injustice is uh, you know, done to them. Thank you.